Welcome to California Unearthed. I'm doing something a little bit different today. Jeremy and I are out on the river trail once again. We are in search of Waz Lower Ferry and we think we know where it's at for sure this time. If you watched my History of Wa video, I'm standing in the same spot I was in that video saying that the ferry may have been behind me or to the right of me over here. But uh, we have found where we think the ferry really was. And so I want you guys to come join us today as we go explore the riverside and search for the mooring pins that are said to be out there. When I was reading the newspaper articles about Waz Ferry, all they ever said was it was south of Rock Creek. And that could be anywhere. And so we are about a quarter of a mile or more uh, past Rock Creek. And that's about where the ferry is. So it's not just below Rock Creek. <laughs> so it's a little misleading the old uh, newspaper articles. And then the other research I was looking at were past historians that said that there were mooring pins embedded in rocks, but they never said where those were exactly, just along the riverside. And if you look behind me, between Rock Creek and Middle Creek, which is about a little over half a mile distance, there are plenty of places that look like a good ferry site. But like I said, I think we know where we have it now. Jeremy actually found a sign from BLM on the other side of the river and the other side of the ribbon bridge that explains pretty much exactly where those mooring pins are at. So I'm gonna take you up to the sign right now. Let's I am go. here on the east side of the Sacramento River on the Shasta to Wairika Trail. And I'm standing in front of the plaque that led Jeremy and I to finding the Wa Ferry Crossing or the Wa Lower Ferry Crossing. I'll flip the camera around and show that to you real quick. This is the plaque, and I'll read it to you. Shasta Wairika Road connecting commerce between Oregon and Sacramento. You are crossing the historic Shasta Wairika Road. This road, used by wagons and stagecoaches from 1851 to the turn of the century, connected Shasta with upriver communities of Buckeye, Churntown, and Quartz Hill in the old Diggings Mining District. This road crossed the Sacramento River nearby at Waz Ferry, just above the nearby Ribbon Bridge, where ramps and mooring pins can still be found. Eventually, this road connected to the California Oregon Trail that connected north to Wairika and beyond and south to Sacramento. The trail was a primary route for commerce, exploration, and transportation. Little use of this road occurred after the later decades of the 19th century, erected by Bureau of Land Management. After all the research and exploring that Jeremy and I have done looking for Waz Lower Ferry site, it was this sign that was the final piece of the puzzle that made it all come together. So this is the Shasta to Wairika Trail. This is heading north. Sacramento River is just over here. And this is heading south. This is the trail that got people from Shasta to Wairika and then on to Oregon. So we began looking for remnants of an old wagon road or ferry road. And lo and behold, Jeremy actually found what looks like an old road just steps away from this sign south on the trail here, just to the right. So let's go down this trail and see what we can find. Hopefully it's going to be those mooring pins. I am with Jeremy Tuggle today and we are out here searching for the mooring pins and the ferry landing here on the east side. We just went down the old wagon road, which we believe is the old wagon road. So I think we may have found the landing site. Now we're just looking for some mooring pins to make sure that we're in the right spot. But we are pretty much directly across from the west side. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I see. Beautiful day today. Absolutely gorgeous out here. There's the river right there.
very busy river trail today. And we're going to continue searching for these pins, see if we can't find them. So Jeremy and I have come down to the bottom of the ferry road, and we have actually found the east side of Waz Lower Ferry. Finally, we found the two mooring pins, and we found the landing ramp. This is absolutely incredible. This is a great, great find. Not a lot of people have come down here. Not a lot of people know that this is even here. This is so, so fun. This is why I love doing these videos. This is really exciting. And you guys are here to join Jeremy and I in this great exploration of finding Wasp Ferry. Let me flip the camera around and uh, show you a little bit about this landing spot. Right here is where the ferries would get off and go up this road. Obviously the vegetation was not here at that point in time. And I don't know if Jeremy's up there. Yeah, I'm right here. All right, if you can see Jer I'm waving my red hat. You see Jeremy up there. That's the way the road would go. All the way to my left and up. And then it either didn't go up further enough because it really narrows after uh, here's the landslides and shift changes in the landscape. So it either went up that way or it went above these rocks somehow. Not really quite sure. Well, we'll check that out once I get up there. But let me look around down here real quick. This is absolutely beautiful. It is very quaint. You can hear the creek here going by me to the left-hand side. There's a ribbon bridge going across the river. The Sacramento River Trail. There is the landing spot over there for the west side of the ferry. So that is the ramp for the west side right over here. And I am on the east side I would actually love to come down here and have a picnic, spend some time down here. It is very, very beautiful with the creek flowing. And I also noticed, and you probably can't notice it here on the video, but right here where the road is, this is actually a road cut. So right where that plant is, that ground goes up about two feet and has definitely been cut with a shovel. So this is definitely the wagon road going out. Now let's go over here. I'm going to show you one of these mooring pins over here. The one that I found? Yeah. See if I don't get... Eaten up by these blackberries. How I found it, I have no idea. Yeah, it kind of blends into the rock. Oh, let's see. All right. No metal detector, by the way. There it is. This is the old mooring pin. This has been here since probably 1853, 1854. Some 170 years, more than likely. You can tell it's been hammered on too when it was forged. Look at that. All right, where's that other mooring pin you found, Jeremy? Right up here. Follow me, watch your step, please. Either a boring pin or a tie down. Which is the same thing. Alright. Right, it is right here. Marked by this whorehound. There it is. 
Oh, that's awesome. All right, so where's the road at now, right here? The road, I think I'm on up there, but it narrows, so I'm pretty sure it went on top of here somehow. Yeah. But keep in mind, 100 years of land slides, shifts, yep. don't move the land. So. Erosion. So more than likely it went up here through these rocks somehow. Because I'm thinking none of this loose rock would have been here. Because this would have been too narrow here. In fact, yes, I see the ramp, Robert. It's right here. And I'm pretty sure all this is just loose stuff that has fallen down over the years. Yeah. Onto the road. Oh, yeah, a lot of erosion over 100. And yeah. Let's see, this This stopped in 1883. So the, what is that? Uh, 140 years this year. Oh, thank you. But yeah, it goes up, and this is the ramp they rock, uh, we walked down. And all this is loose boulder type stuff. Yep. So Wild would have definitely had it cleared. This is the ramp. It definitely is. And that might have been a walkway for future tie downs, maybe that he installed later or during his uh, lifetime. And uh, that's the reason for that narrow pathway. Yeah, probably. But that was the tie down for the right side. And then the tie down for the left side. It's right down there. It's not a great view because of all the brush and stuff, but straight ahead of me is the road going into the river and onto the ferry. Let's follow up this road just a little bit. See if I can't break a leg on these rocks. Doing okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, see all this is loose. Oh yeah. So I'm pretty sure none of this was here. And so it would have made a lot more smoother. Yeah, let me get up here to the smooth section of the road. Give them some idea. Right there. So when they referred when the sign refers to this as ramp, this is ramp for the ferry. Yep, I agree. That's it. You're going to have to excuse my jumpy video. You'll see what I just walked over. So right. when I was doing research on this, I found an article that says that there was a wagon that the brake went out and it crashed into the river. Unfortunately, the horses drowned and all the hay went down the river. And I don't know what side of the river it was on. It didn't say, but I'm assuming it was this side just because deepness of this ramp going down to the river. And we don't know how high the river was back then either, but uh, I believe it may have been on this side just because of the steepness of this ramp right here but yeah a wagon crashed into the river just because the brakes wouldn't hold and i gotta say thank you to jeremy for coming out here with me because if it wasn't for him i don't think i would have found these pins because my eyesight being the what it is and uh, jeremy having the old uh, eagle eyes here Hi guys. So thanks Jeremy for coming out here with me and finding these pins with me. Oh, uh, you're welcome. If you haven't yet, please follow me, Jeremy Tuggle, on YouTube, uh, social media sites, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, you name it, I'm on all. So uh, add me if you haven't. Jeremy Tuggle on YouTube. Uh, like, subscribe, and follow. Right on. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the west side and see if we can find some mooring pins on that side. 
All right, we're just coming off of the Shasta, the Wairika Trail, onto the river trail here and across the Ribbon Bridge to get to the west side. Sorry I did not film the trek down the road or down the Shasta Wairika Trail. It's just too difficult for me with my eyesight to do such a thing. A little trip on some rocks or something. So we're going to go down here, get a shot of the river, and then go down to the west landing ramp. It's a busy day on the river trail today. A lot of bicyclists. go so we were just to the right over there and we're gonna head over I don't know if you can see it from here there's a little sandy beach area on the left that may be blocked by some boulders but once I get over there I will show you the ribbon bridge from over there Let's continue on. All right, we'll see you guys at the bottom. All right, we got it. We found the west side and the mooring pins. There's actually four mooring pins over here. There was only two on the other side that we found, but we found four over here. So that's pretty cool. And if you look on the other side of the river, you can see where we were on the east side. So the ferry would go from there to here, here to there. And this was here from 1853 to 1883. This was Wright's Ferry in 1853 until Joseph Waugh took it over in 54 and then bought it in 55. And then he ran it from 1855 until 1883 when he made the deal with the railroad, like I said in the Waugh history video. So he ran this ferry for about 30 years. Can you imagine the happenings here on this shoreline. Births, deaths, drownings. They caught a 400 pound sturgeon real close to here as well. <laughs> and then on this side of the river, I believe this is where the ferry house was, but I don't know for sure. It just seems like there's more room over here for a ferry house. And at one point, I believe in the 1860s, there was a flood that washed that ferry house away. So I'm going to have the camera person turn around and I'm going to show you the road leading down here. And then when we go look at the fourth mooring pin, I'm going to shoot down and show you this whole area. I know you can't see it from this angle, but uh, we'll shoot it from the uh, ferry road down. And you can see what this whole area kind of looks like. And you gotta remember, this is 140 years ago. There's a lot of erosion, rocks have moved. So this isn't exactly what it looked like back then, but pretty darn close. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, ferry road real quick here. So this is a road that the wagons would go up after leaving the ferry. 
Yang buah apa? While we're up here, we might as well look at this fourth mooring pin. This is the coolest one, I think. Look at this thing. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's something right out of like Pirates of the Caribbean type stuff. <laughs> we'll go ahead and flip the camera around. So that's the ferry landing right there. A whole lot more room than the other side. That's for sure. All right, let's go look at those other mooring pins. Alright, here's another one embedded in the rock. This is absolutely really cool. Look at that thing. Look how old that is. Then we have another one just to the left. It's kind of like half a mooring pin or, I don't know. And then the third one over here, we may have to zoom in to see this one. It's embedded in the rock up here. So that's the third one down here. And like I said, there's four all together on the west side. Three down below and then one up on the wagon road. So now I'm just gonna do a quick panoramic around here. This is absolutely beautiful down here with the rock and the river. Breathtaking. All right, so I'm gonna go up the trail and show you where at on the river trail this sits, the exact spot. So I'm gonna go straight up the hill and when I get to the top, I will show you exactly where on the river trail you can find this landing spot. Like I said earlier, all the other information I found has made this very difficult, but that BLM sign this over there on the east side made it very easy for Jeremy and I to find this. And that being said, I got to say thank you to Jeremy, old Eagle Eyes Tuggle, because without him, I wouldn't have been able to find these mooring pins with my eyesight. So let's go up the trail and uh, see where this is at on the river trail. All right, one more quick note before going up the hill. I was just heading up the road and found this flat spot over here where I think the ferry house may have sat. This is a nice flat area, perfect for a building. Like I said, there's the landing spot. There's the road right down there. So the ferry house would be close to the road and close to the river. Obviously, it got washed away. And so I think this is where it sat. 
there's no other really flat areas close to the river that make sense. And you got to remember, this is before Shasta Dam was built. And so the river could get pretty high some years. And I did find evidence of river rock up here. So we know that the river has come up this high before for a period of time. Otherwise, we wouldn't have sediment and river rock deposits up here. So just a quick note. I thought that was interesting. This isn't a guarantee. This is just my opinion that this is where the ferry house sat. Makes sense to me. All right, now we're heading up the road. I am directly above the western side of the Wa Ferry ramp. I'm on the Sacramento River Trail and I am right at post. Point five. Heading north towards Keswick. So that's where I'm at. And Waz Ferry's landing is directly below me. And the ribbon bridge is right there. This bird's eye view map gives you an idea of where Waz Lower Ferry is located. You see the ribbon bridge to the south, river trails on the left hand side, and the yellow line represents Waz Lower Ferry, the route it took from one side of the river to the other. Now remember, Keswick Dam is up to the north, and the town of Middle Creek, or Wa is to the south of the ribbon bridge here. All right, I am on a side trip here with Jeremy. We're down what we believe is the old wagon road. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you where we are. We are about where Wright's Ferry was in 1851. So let me flip the camera around. I'll kind of explain it to you. Right there is the mouth of Spring Creek. And this is the old wagon road right here going down to the water. See, going Jer up from the water. Or going up, depending on which way you're going, either up or down. So we can't really go any further. There's a bunch of blackberries, poison oak, and all sorts of stuff here. But the, uh, the road continues on, and this would have met up with the water level. This is Keswick Lake. And so the water level is much higher now than it was in 1851. We were kind of hoping to maybe get some mooring pins or something like that, but I believe those are all going to be underwater at this point. We but were hoping for a higher uh, set of mooring pins. Yeah, we were hoping for a higher set of mooring pins, but uh, this is where the 1851 Wrights Ferry was before it was moved to south of Rock Creek, just north of the Ribbon Bridge. So one quick look here. Like I said, this is the wagon road going into the water. We can't go any farther. The other road is, I don't think you can see it because that bush is in the way, but the wagon road continues on the other side of the river over there. Spring Creek is right there. And like I said, Wright moved this ferry in 53 when Moody and Wood got permission to do their ferry about a half mile down from Spring Creek. So at that time, like I said earlier, ferries had to be a mile apart from each other. And so Wright moved his down to where we were just at south of Rock Creek and just north of the Ribbon Bridge right there in 53. So we're going to go ahead and walk up the wagon road here a little bit. See if I can't trip over some blackberries and rocks, which they both kind of got me a little bit. 
I'm sure you saw that garbage there. Sad people littering. This archway here, I want to turn around and show you. This is absolutely something that is really, really cool. Manzanita made a little arch over the wagon road and it's absolutely gorgeous with this green grass and the sun shining. The camera does not do this justice. This was absolutely beautiful and very breathtaking. But I'm going to go ahead and walk up to the picnic table here real quick and just give you a bird's eye view of Spring Creek, where the ferry was, and show you where the Keswick train depot used to be. The rails or the rail bed are underwater now, and in drought years, I understand that the rail bed will come up out of the water, but for today, it is underwater. Let's hop up here on this picnic table there we go there's spring creek and the ferry site i don't know if you can see the road on the other side or not and right there is where the keswick train depot used to be give you a little bit of a 360 view of this area Well, that's it for the update on Waz Lower Ferry. I'm so excited that Jeremy and I were able to find this and report it back to you guys. This is so awesome. So uh, it's just breathtaking. <laughs> so for us history guys, this is really, really cool. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this as well. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And comment down below what you think. And go follow Jeremy on his channel as well and on his blog. Go check him out. He's going to do a video on Wa and the fairies as well. So go check that out. And I'll put a link in the description to Jeremy's video. And I'll put a link in the description to my History of Wa video. We'll see you guys on next video.